If you're watching this video, then you must be looking for some amazing developer tools, right? Well, you are in the right place because I have eight best Salesforce development tools for you. Hello and welcome back to Salesforce Hulk. Without wasting any time, let's get to exploring our developer tools. Okay, so we're starting with the first one. Uh, like the first one is to do highlight. This is something which is a visual studio code extension. You have to open your VS code, go to the extension and you can search this particular visual studio code extension. Uh, like with the name to do highlight as you can see over here. And what helps uh, like what is the like functionality of it? What is the feature of this? It simply highlights some content. And now why we need to highlight some content in your code. So when you imagine that whenever you are writing some piece of code and you got some other works to do at that moment, the, the, the continuation of the code will, will break whatever the logic in your mind can be like, it can be difficult for you after some time, if you come back and then is you try to recall it, it will be difficult to recall and it will be difficult to figure out what exactly the thing you need to write, what exactly the code you need to write. So in order to do that, what you can do in your code, in your code, you can simply specify the to do, like you have written five lines of code, you got some other works to do, you can write down a small comment to do colon and then whatever the things you need to do after the code. So that whenever you come back and see that code again, then it's going to be like easier for you to recall and write down the uh, continue that particular logic, whatever you are doing. That. Uh, so this something, this is something which helps a lot of developers because in development, it's not only coding part, there are lots of th things to do. So in that case, this to do highlight, no highlight uh, extension is going to be great. So in, for installing this, you have to simply go to Visual Studio Code, write down to do highlight and then uh, you have to, as you can see over here, you simply have to click on install button, right? Once you install it, uh, then you have to go to the settings, the ex this particular extension setting, uh, j just by clicking on the gear icon, you can see, and then extension settings. And over here, you have to add some keywords, like the way I have added these keywords. One keyword is to do colon and to add more keywords, you can separate them by pipe uh, syntax and then another keyword you can specify like fix me colon. This is another keyword. So whenever in my code, in any of my file, whenever I'll be using to do colon, let's say for example, I'll go over here. This is the functionality I was writing. So here if I'll try, if I, if I need to add some more things over here, but I do not have time. I'll be coming back later. So I can simply write over here to do colon and you see automatically the to do got highlighted and here I can write down the comment, comment like uh, I need to call imperative and then assign it to a data property. So this is simply an example I am giving. Uh, so whatever the thing you need to do you, if, while writing the code itself, you can keep your to do there itself so that and and it will not get a skip. So for that, this to do text will get highlighted with you can see the color. It's it's like very simple to identify that this is something where we need to continue the code. So yeah, that is something which will be helpful. Now moving ahead to the second uh, tool for, uh, yeah, so the second tool is prettier now. Now what is the use of this prettier now? Like whenever you write the code, sometimes it happens that you write the code without formatting. Like uh, there is a no proper spaces, uh, extra lines you have given or no proper indentation you had done that makes the code less readable, right? Or it difficult to read that code, go through that code. So in order to format that code, there is an extension prettier now, which you can use so you after like you see, again, you have to go to Visual Studio Code extensions. 
uh, section and there you have to search for this pretty and now extension yeah so this is something which you can use like pretty and now and uh, you can install this and if I'll show you like after installing you simply have to go to your whichever the file you are working in uh, like this particular code as you can see it's not formatted so I have to right click on it format with now I'll be using pretty and now and you see the code got formatted so this is how this pretty works now moving ahead okay so the third one third uh, tool we have is uh, package.xml generator so for that this is the extension name which we need to use salesforce package.xml generator in order to install it you need to simply search over here like this package.xml vs code this is something which you need to search and then you have to click on the this one this one and you need to install it once you done we are done with the installation then you simply have to press Control shift p to open the command prompt and you need to search sfdx package.xml and automatically the extension will come at the very top you simply have to click on that and it's going to open a user interface ui interface so what it help in like you you simply select a particular metadata over here let's say i am selecting object over here custom object is getting selected now after that we simply have to select the whatever the objects we want to include in our package.xml file so i'm gonna be let's say i want to include student i want to include student in batch yeah that's all and i'll simply click on this button update package.xml and if i'll click on this then it's going to update the package.xml file you see so this is how it works yeah so that is something which you can use to have this package.xml file updated now what is the use of this uh, this is something this package.xml file whenever you do your development work is used in deployment part so that is the use of this package.xml file and that will help developers to keep their package.xml file maintained without writing the code simply by using point and click they can update their package.xml file now moving ahead the extension number four is uh, like the the tool number four is salesforce cli now this salesforce cli is the tool uh, because of which we are able to work here in vs code so this is the tool which helps in connecting the local vs code code editor with the salesforce or so that is something which it helps in and in order to install this tool you simply have to search over google uh, salesforce cli install salesforce cli install and then you will be getting a proper documentation from salesforce uh, documentation itself like a salesforce official website itself uh, over here like the complete installation process the prerequisite and everything to install it once you install it you have to install the extensions as well these ex like uh, salesforce extension pack and then you can write your apex code your uh, any kind of code which is related to salesforce in this vs code so that is about this particular extension now moving ahead uh, we have the next extension which is uh, lightning studio salesforce lightning studio this is something which you can uh, like simply uh, like add as a chrome extension and what is the use of this this is an alternative of vs code visual studio code here uh, like if i'll go uh, if i'll search over google lightning in order to install this you simply have to search lightning studio chrome extension and then
and yeah you can see this is this is the one which you need to install it i have already installed it and how to use it just log into your salesforce or and on your browser click on the extensions icon and then you can simply open this lightning studio or lightning studio uh, ide where you can write down your whole code and you can deploy this makes the deployment part a little faster and you see uh, here every single component which i did created within this uh, this particular org is automatically fetched over here automatically available over here so yeah that is the use of this lightning studio it's simply an alternative of vs code now moving ahead uh here we'll be having another tool which is salesforce inspector now what is the use of this salesforce inspector it is used for lots of things you can import data you can export data you can see the detailed information for a particular record page so all of these things we, we can, you can do using this particular tool and in order to install this particular tool you have to simply add it on your chrome as in chrome extension and one thing to tell you like there was earlier salesforce uh, inspector which is something was used now we have salesforce inspector reloaded so so do not install salesforce inspector just go over google and search for salesforce inspector install uh, chrome extension so yeah this one you can use and you can uh, like add it to your browser once you are done with that whenever you will go to your org there is a transparent con at the very corner right you will be finding a transparent icon arrow icon a box little box you just have to click on that uh, that box and then automatically the salesforce in inspector will come you can see over here and here with this we can import the data export the data we can get the org limits we can download the meta data there are lots and lots of things we can do using this particular salesforce inspector i'll give you one example of it let's say if i'll go to a particular record let's say i'll go to opportunity record so over here now just click on the extension and you see all the information is available over here like what whatever the information we are able to see on the record page but because the page layout uh, created we can see only some limited fields if we want to see all the fields then in that case you can simply uh, like open this uh, Uh, like salesforce inspector and you can click on this button show all data you can simply click on this and it's going to show all the data of each and every field of this particular object so this is one of the use there are lots and lots of use of this salesforce ex uh, inspector chrome extension now moving ahead we have next tool which is workbench this is a uh, like what i can say uh, unofficially declared salesforce tool salesforce product which you can use for again lots of things like one of the uses uh, querying the data from salesforce org or testing your rest api your rest resource which you have created in your salesforce or if you want to do the meta data migration that also you can do using workbench in order to use workbench you have to search over google workbench salesforce and then you will be getting at the very top the search result you can simply open it and you can log in with your salesforce org so as you are logging in with your salesforce org the salesforce org will automatically get connected and you can do multiple things through this workbench tool now 
we are moving to the last tool which is int migration tool this is something which is already retired so which means uh, it's not going to get any update or any bug fixes from salesforce end but still this particular tool is beneficial or amazing when it comes to scheduling the deployment part if you want to schedule your deployment let's say you want to do the deployment at the night or uh you want to schedule it if there is a multiple staging building part testing part so in that case this is something which you can use and this is for this you have to you can follow the salesforce documentation itself in order to install this whole extension you can see various uses of it from here like in which which scenario you can use this particular tool so and the installation steps are also mentioned in the same documentation so you can simply go to this particular documentation installing the end migration tool this documentation you need to follow which is on this developer.salesforce.com and then you can simply use this particular tool and there you have it all the developer tools which will make your development process smoother and faster If you need any help in using these tools or having any other question please leave them in the comments and we will get back to you with answers hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to salesforce help for more such videos